All right, I think we are live here this morning. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. Uh, our last couple of days, actually more like last week or so, we've been talking about on our Discord community. By the way, if, you're, if you guys want to join our Discord, just feel free to join us, okay? Uh, I'm going to put the link on the comment section. I'm done with my live streaming. So you can just come hang out with us. Uh, but last couple of days, we've been talking about the E6, um, any, okay? It could be E61 group or any uh, shower screen on your coffee machine. Uh, so since I have an E61 here, I have the Lillette Bianca. I feel like it has a major flaws, okay? I'm not quite sure yet, okay? That's why I'm, we are, I'm bringing it up to the table here, and then we're going to talk about it this morning. I uh, hope, uh, by the way, my video quality is not that great at the moment. Hopefully it's going to get better. Okay, uh, it's bad right now. So I'm going to wait a little bit, okay? And I'm going to wait a little bit to talk about it. Uh, look like it's going to get getting better. Um, I, I got my monitor set up behind me, so. So it's not even a monitor. It's more like big, giant TV, okay? Uh, I think it looks like it's getting a little better there. Yeah, looks like it's getting better. Uh, by the way, so uh, March Madness sale going on. Amazon still going on right now. Okay, so if you are looking for uh, Bravo machines, uh, make sure click the link down below, okay? 25% uh, off of Bravo Vista Express. Okay, so uh, look like video is good. Finally, it took me, what, a couple of minutes to get the bandwidth, uh, get it right here. About 60 seconds, okay? So now we are all good to go. Happy Fridays, everybody. Happy Fridays. Uh, this morning, we have uh, Mr. Rainbow joining us as well. Uh, Baba tra uh, Travel. Ahmed, shout out to Nick. It's been a while, Nick. Okay, it's been a while. We've got TG is joining us this morning. Jersey and Canada, a Canadian coffee guy. Okay, uh, let's talk about uh, this E61 group uh, shower screen. Uh, hold on, my video is uh, still in and out right now. Okay, uh, in and out there. Uh, Nick said he's uh, busy with the baby. Hold on, uh, my video is a. Uh, Bad at the hold on, hold on. There we go, getting a little better. This is the great thing about the live streaming. I have to say, uh, you never know what's going to happen. Okay, you never know what's going to happen there. All right, Morgan just just popped in. So this is the shower screen. So this is the way of uh, what uh, underneath your E61 group. Okay, right going right inside. Okay, this is it. The the reason why I say it's flaw. The actual shower screen coming out from the water on the top. So this is about 49 millimeter, okay, 49 millimeter. So this is the 49 millimeter paper, all right? Just like that, okay? So that covers where water is coming from the top, okay? So imagine this, okay? Imagine, so this is the, what water is coming down. This is your photo filter. Good. So this is a 58.5 millimeter. Uh, precisely is like 58, 58.7. Yeah. So this is water coming down. You see the all the space to the edge. It's gonna be not covered by the water. Uh, not it's it's not got it's not going to cover by the water. Okay. So it's more like. Uh, if you do the math on it, it's about 25%, okay, uh, lost in coverage there. Again, it's not, you have this edge. So you got 58 millimeter, 58.5, let's put it that way, okay. And then we have a 49 millimeter of the water is coming down. So, and I wonder, I mean, so this is why I know some of my friends at Discord uh, shout out to Mike. Mike is actually working on it right now as we speak, trying to figure out what's the impact of the, the missing coverage to the edge. Okay, I'm very curious about that as well. Uh, again, it's going to be, if you're using the like medium to dark roast coffee, I'm about to drink right now, most likely not. Okay, 
uh, uh, that rock is joined. Uh, the mic is right here right now. So that's the mic. Uh, that rock is the one uh, we, I, I've been talking to. Yep, don't know if is uh, uh, he say that. Don't know if it's important yet. But what, yeah, again, the mic's working on it as we speak. Again, very curious. Okay, it's a 49 millimeter shower screen coming down. This surface is a 58.5, 58.6, could be eight. So we are missing edge. It's gonna be give us the, you know, it's not gonna give us the optimal coverage. Okay, we are talking about optimal because you want to water evenly come down, cover the entire surface. That's ideal. Okay, that is an ideal uh, scenario. But it's not happening in uh, E61 group. Espresso machine. Okay. That's why sometimes I wonder. Uh, I know some of you are using shower screen, right? Hold on, let me grab some shower screen here. Okay. So this is a shower screen. So this is the uh, put the puck on the top. Imagine the water is covered. You see the edge. So that's what I'm trying to say to you guys. So that's the missing portion of it. Okay. Missing coverage. But if you are using the shower screening, the water is coming down here. Obviously, it's going to be flood the top. And the water is come down from the shower screen from the bottom. Okay. All depend on the how good your puck screen is. It's going to be impact your uh, extraction as well. So, again, uh, this is the open-ended question. I have no idea about this, but I know this is something Mike is working on it right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm 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 pretty fascinating about this topic. Uh, if a coffee is your hobby, you know this might interest you. Okay, because you know you guys want to squeeze out uh, every bit of extraction as possible. Okay. Every extraction as possible. But you know, I mean, if you're regular casual drinkers, hey, you know, I mean, this, you know, this it's not that important. Hold on, uh, Mark said, let's did a deep dive on baskets. What caused the donut shot? Okay, what caused, I mean, okay, we're not talking about basket here, all right? I mean, there's uh, all kinds of baskets out there, but but with the donut shot, I mean, that's a different story, right? Uh, is a different extraction, more like center. They, I mean, create the donuts. But having said that, uh, let's brew some coffee. Okay, let's brew some coffee. Uh, so this, uh, this is a medium to dark roast. And uh, let's come to the grinder. You know, let's use uh, just a niche grinder. All right, so this, I mean, with medium to dark, I prefer uh, conical birds. Especially like you know darker side, just a little bit of water, a little bit of early tea. And uh, by the way, I know you guys talk about the blind screen lately, the uh, blind uh, shaker. So this is a uh, Versica from Option O. So this kind of like blind shaker, but I'm missing the lid. But I have a solution for that. Hold on. Right. Just gonna start my coffee grinds. Okay. Uh, Canadian coffee guys say uh, longer pre infusion helps. Sure. Let's see here, a chip line uh, shaker from Amazon. Yeah, I do have a link on that one too. So, I mean, that's not a bad idea. From here, this is my lover, uh, rubber lid. So this is the base of my temper. Okay. You're just gonna shake it. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna shake it here.
Okay, here we go. And uh, I know someone asking, well, why don't you just shake the dosing cup? All right, so you grind into your dosing cup. You, you, you could shake it, right? But the reason why the blind shaker is very interesting, uh, the bottom falls out, okay? The bottom falls out. So theoretically, they're gonna give you much better, you know, to lay on the top nicely. I'm just gonna a uh, little tap there to the side. Okay, just a little tap. Just like so. And the only thing you gotta do is just tap. All right, you don't need to do any WDT. Let's just do the temp on it. Okay. Now you're good to go. Let's pull the shot here, folks. Let me bring you guys a little closer. Hopefully you guys can hope you guys can see this. I like to use the puck screen, by the way. I don't like to use the puck screen. Just gonna lock it in. Uh, you know what, let's make a quick uh, cappuccino. We're gonna do the straight nine bar shot. Uh, comes to ratio, let's go one to two ratio. So this is a medium to dark roast coffee. Look at that. Look at that crema. It's all crema. It's a bit faster. I'm gonna stop at 36 gram. 17 seconds, okay. I mean, look at the, yeah. So I need to change my grind size, by the way. My video quality is, uh, I'm losing it at the moment. Yeah. Look at the shot of crema there. It's too much, if you ask me. Too much crema. Okay, uh, let's do the latte. We like cappuccino. I'm just going to top it right now. Make sure you get all the air bubble out. I know some people like to transfer milk picture at, at this point. Okay. All right. Hopefully you guys can see this. Uh, comes to latte, just take your time. Okay. Here's a little nice heart shape there. That looks okay. All right. Again, so that shot was a little bit fast. Uh, it's about, uh, I got about 17 seconds, so. But, uh, Cheers. Uh, you know what? I guarantee you, it's just a little bit of milk and sugar fixes everything. So let's give it a try. It's great. Okay. Just one sip, guys. Just one sip. Okay, let's take a look at the puck. 
Okay, let's take a look at the puck there. Uh, comes to bottom, uh, the extraction, obviously, there's no whole lot of, ch there's no channeling. Hold on, my video is, I'm just going to wait a second. The video is bad right now. Yeah, hold on. There we go. I think it's a little better. Again, so it comes to channeling wise, it's nice and clean, which means you've got to have a nice even extraction, even though, okay, the shot was fast. Okay, so there's fast shots. All right. Um, if you're looking at the puck, if you're lo looking at the bottom, if you see some channeling, uh, you're going to see like different spot. Okay. There's different spot there, but again, uh, this, this is a faster shot. So if I'm going to dial in, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go a little finer. Okay. I'm going to go really final that give you, you know, I like about between 25 and like 30 second shots, but but you are planning on put some milk in it. It's not too bad either. So again, if you are joining us, we are talking about uh, a shower screen. Okay, the shower screen that I know our friend Mike is working on right now is uh, because the shower screen, uh, 49 millimeter, uh, coming out from the top from the shower screen, the water wise. And then if you the puck, it's a 58.5 millimeter, okay? We're trying to solve the issues with on the edge of the water is not touching. It's gonna be how, how much impact, all right? How much impact on coffee extraction? The answer is, I don't know, okay? I know that's something uh, Mike's working on it. And if Mike finds something, I definitely uh, let you guys know for sure. Okay. James asks, what's good entry level espresso machine with a good flow control? Oh, man. Good flow control. Uh, you know what? Uh, flare does the pressure control with the flare, obviously. Uh, that's the real talk about the pressure. Uh, comes to flow control. Oh, goodness. Uh, E61 group machine, right? E61, and then you can add the valve, valve. okay? Uh, any E61 group machine, you can uh, install the uh, flow control mount, okay? So, so just pick the machine that they're compatible with flow control. So that's what you're looking for, all right? That's what you're looking for. Stefan's getting a DF83V. Uh, Today or tomorrow, good. I think you're gonna like it. I think you're gonna like the grinder. Okay, folks, I think uh, we are done for today. My videos are in and out right now, so it's not, yeah. So it's not that great right now. The, my bandwidth is all over, so. Yeah, uh, let's uh, call it a day so far. Okay, let's call it a day. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. And I'm gonna see you guys Maybe we might do one more session later. Okay, let's do one more session later. All right, see you next time.